Thank you for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Tarot, 777. Today's read is for Sagittarius. Just for Sagittarius. Sag, like, comment, and subscribe, as well as hitting your notification bell. There is word that people are not receiving notifications when information and messages, videos are being um uploaded for you guys so just hit the um notification bell so you know when i have a message for you guys right so with that being said just to let you know that the cards have been shuffled they've been prayed over and meditated over as well so the first card comes out and let's look at the bottom of the deck somebody is stuck in their head feeling trapped feeling restricted this could be you or somebody else um, somebody feels like backed in the corner. They feel victimized. Somebody is feeling, I don't know. Someone is feeling a lot of pressure, hopeless. I don't know, one, 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 when I said that. Some guys, are, some guys, some guys, some whoever, they're feeling hopeless, helpless. And this could be you feeling silenced during a crisis or some sort of major uh, drama or some sort of dilemma that you may be going through. It could be somebody else. They're feeling very, very like they, they have no way where to go or no, no options. This is how this person is feeling. Now, this could be you because the Queen of Pentacles came out here. The Queen of Pentacles is a nurturer, somebody that's stable, focused on their business. Um, a mother that is very supportive of assisting those around him or her, basically taking care of the people around them. Now, this has a lot to do with your creativity. And it seems that you are in conflict and Spirit is saying you need to regroup. Again, this is you or somebody else, Sag. Take the energies as they apply, all right? It's about you having, growing a business, focusing on your money, structure, your home life, and also using your imagination. But there seems to be conflict around you. And to be honest, this conflict is causing you to uh, a lot, causing you to need to regroup. There's grief, all right. So you feel a little grief. Maybe some of you guys are trying to refuse the idea that you do need balance and peace and harmony in your life, but with this. Courage card with the Leo card, it's like you're not getting it. You're not getting it. Maybe some of you guys are not feeling or having the inner strength to speak your truth. Or maybe you have spoken your truth. But being that it came in the blocking position, it's like as you speak your truth, those that are around you are refusing to accept. And that's a double confirmation because that card came out twice the four cups so it's about refusing um information missing opportunities that card definitely came out so it's like you're in this energy it seems like to me as a queen or king of pentacles you're being helpful you're being supportive but it's like the the knowledge the information the support that you're giving it's not being reciprocated. You feel like you're draining yourself as you give so much of yourself. But Spirit is telling you, honestly, you need to regroup. And it's putting you in a position of feeling bored, anxious. And Spirit is saying you need to manifest to bring your balance back because it's bringing you a lot of anxiety. Because you're very structured. You're very honest and truthful you have a lot of inner strength but it's like your inner strength is being i don't know someone 
There's people that's trying to block you, control you, but you're very structured and logical and truthful. You, This card is the truth. So it's like spirit is telling you to speak your truth, to be honest, to be strong, to be courageous, to bring balance into a situation. Okay, that's what this is. So Spirit is saying you need to be strong, to be confident, to bring balance, and be truthful and honest. Although there may be someone refusing your truth, it's going to bring harmony and balance. Hmm. There's a lot in this one column here, Sage. It's about... It's, I feel like you're giving, you're helping, you're giving to help bring balance. The way you're doing it is being very logical and very structured. But people feel like you're controlling them because it's like you're giving and you're not receiving. People are in denial of the assistance that you're giving. Yeah. Now, this is causing you grief because you're giving and you're not receiving anything. But Spirit is telling, saying to you, here's double confirmation. This is what I was talking about. Those that miss the opportunity to give you gratitude are the ones that are in denial. So, they're going to regret not seeing that the support and the balance and harmony that you were presenting to them because the four of cups is here this is um this will be a missed opportunity because to me to the people are focusing on the negative stuff and they're being self-absorbed and depressed these are people around you sage a spirit is saying you're going to be victorious um because you're determined to have your self-control and you're determined to still work and focus. Hmm. Focusing on the negative, nostalgia, frustration. So it's like you're also feeling a little frustrated because you feel like people are daydreaming and not having or bringing anything to a situation. It's like they're in denial that they're not really given support, money, time, energy. There's no balance and harmony in your in a situation that you're in. Hmm. So there's a lot of conflict. The truth is your creativity may possibly your creativity is being affected. Because let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. How is this affecting the Queen of Pentacles? Because your imagination is using your, your mind. Clarify the imagination with this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So it's lots of options and choices. Hmm. And opportunities that will bring you a lot of hope. And allow you to have peace and contentment and staying and remaining calm while you become and stay creative. Hmm. So it's like as the Queen of Pentacles, you're, you're building your business, you're being responsible. And there's decisions. Hmm. So it's like there's decisions, uh, there is a decision that you have to make to allow you to have the hope and inspiration to continue to create. So Spirit is saying, continue, heal yourself so that you can gain back the positivity and rejuvenate yourself. All right. So you need to... Basically, Spirit is saying you need to not lose hope. 
continue to make the right choices and you'll have the hope, you'll have the success, your creativity, your imagination, everything will come into fruition. It's just that it seems like there's an issue with you guys, right? There's a catastrophic moment that's causing you to work, to build, to grow. But Spirit is saying there's justice that's going to come out of this. Hmm. And it may be a situation where you're going to have to be very stern, logical. And I feel like that you are because you're in this king of swords energy. You're speaking the truth, but people are blocking you as you speak the truth, Sag. You're trying to bring balance. People are refusing your advice. This is bringing you grief. This situation with the people, places, I don't know, they're in denial that they're not really giving of you, of a situation. Hmm. So you are being generous and you're assisting and supporting as this Queen of Pentacles would do. But those, as, as you're giving and being supportive, you have people that are toxic and in their ego. And you've been very patient as people or places or whomever about using their imagination. So it seems like somebody is not or someone needs to use their imagination and be honest. Maybe somebody is not using their imagination because they're not being honest. It's causing them grief. Someone is not seeing the truth. They're not being honest possibly with you, Sag. And they're not grateful because you're trying to help this person overcome and become successful but it's like you regret assisting those that are not why well, that's what it is you regret assisting those that refuse to have balance and harmony and they're trying to control you or they're feeling controlled hmm whatever it is says it's causing you a lot of grief because it's like, this is a catastrophic moment. This is chaos because you're single and you're working and you're independent and you're building your wealth and money for the betterment of uh, a legacy. But Spirit is saying there's going to be justice brought. There's going to be balance brought to a situation, Sag. So take the energies as they apply. Whatever it is that or whomever, it could be a person, place, or thing, because you deserve love. It's like you're giving out and you're not getting back. All you're getting back is people refusing to see that you're just looking for hope and balance and peace. Okay. Because you've been very patient. Hmm. And Spirit is saying with this Knight of Pentacles, time heals all wounds. So at some point in time, this situation will pass and they will walk away or they will surrender to walk away. There were some unexpected challenges. So... It's like you or somebody else um, is trying to be patient and hardworking to be free. It's like you or somebody else is being patient and trying to be free to surrender, to change the situation when it comes to losing money and regaining happiness and positivity and freedom again and success this is a spiritual transformation so that new beginnings will happen right all right sag 
Hmm. Let's see what else um, spirit needs you to know. It just sounds like to me, Sagittarius, there's something. This could be you or somebody else. It could be in your home. It could be in your business. It's like some of you have come to the edge with this situation. Here and now. So something is happening here and right now. This is something that's currently happening to you, Sag. This is occurring right now. And this is why Spirit is saying it's time to take a break, to rejuvenate, to balance, to... Hmm. To see things as they are and to... Serendipity. Again, imagination keeps coming out here. Hmm. So, let's find out what else spirit needs you to know, Sage. Because it seems to me that there is an issue or a problem that you're going to receive justice for whatever this problem is. This could be a person, place, or thing. But it's like your imagination is being blocked. Something is happening in which is causing you some sort of grief or maybe there is people around you that they're feeling grief um maybe somebody is not being honest with themselves because if you look here this is a lot of conflict so spirit is saying you need to be honest with this uh, situation that's causing you a lot of grief and at some point you're going to need to regroup regroup um and realize that you can't save everybody, Sag. That's what this is. Spirit is saying you can't save everybody, right? Spy. You can't help everybody, Sag. All you can do, Spirit is saying, be honest with yourself. Stay focused on what you're doing and your goals. And let the rest fall where they may. Let things just play itself out because they will. Spirit is saying that balance will happen, structure will occur, and there will be a missed opportunity for those that are not willing to, you know, see the truth. But I feel like there are people, or there was people, places, or it doesn't matter. It's like people are trying to power, overpower you and not have balance and peace in a situation. So it's causing you grief being cold, being detached. As you're giving, you're not receiving anything in return. And this is allowing you to feel powerless. But Spirit is saying you're going to overcome it. I don't know what this is talking about, Sage, but this is what the energies are picking up. So we're going to see overall who is this Four of Cups? Bees. Okay. Who is this four cups? One four for imagination. You know what? One month to say. to pop right out so again it's about being grateful that's it sad yes yeah, so as i stated it's about gratitude being grateful being humble let's see and bittersweet so it's like those that weren't grateful for the assistance and support that you were giving, people are missing up will miss an opportunity with the fact that you were supportive of them. You were bringing balance and hope and inspiration to people's lives, but they weren't grateful for you. People weren't see a miracle. 
you are a miracle. When you come into people's lives, you are a miracle. You bring blessings. Right. You bring blessings in people's lives. And it's like they're going to have this energy where they're going to reflect. It's going to be like an aha moment. When you leave a person's life, that's when they then realize that you are a blessing. That's what it is. Yep. So, let's see what else says that you need to know. What else does says need to know? So, that's what it is. So, Spirit is telling you, you being honest and truthful and basically being direct, informing people that the support that you bring and that you're giving is just to bring harmony and balance. Hmm. But those around you are still lying while you're being honest and true and being a blessing to people. They're not using their own imagination. They're not being honest. Again, grief is out here again. This is confirmation, grief twice. So you got people lying and not being grateful. So we have a confirmation again. What I'm saying is, is um, on point and it's making so there's people that are despondent so they're out of control and they want you to be out of control mm -hmm. because they're complacent and out of control feeling grief not having balance and harmony in their life this is people are manipulating situations to try to make you feel in that energy and spirit is saying no you're not going to be complacent you're honest with yourself. You are using your imagination. Um, you have no grief. So this is not your energy. Some of it is and some of it isn't. So take what resonates. So again, there's people trying to block what you're doing. And your destiny. Yes. What else, Sag? So Sag is just confirmation. And your growth. Exactly. Exactly. This is what it is. So the help that you're providing to those, they're they're really being deceitful and trying to block what you're doing because these people are vain and self-centered and ungrateful. Exactly. Huh. But they will become enlightened. And I feel like the universe is informing you, giving you this knowledge so that you will know what's really happening because your abundance and your success with the war card here is still going to happen so you're going to have the growth the growth but spirit is telling you you're the miracle when you walk into folks lives it's like they're envious of that because you bring joy and happiness peace balance love and those around you may be insecure they are so it's like, what is it? I don't know how you say that, but this is, Spirit wants you to trust your instincts and understand what I'm saying is very accurate. That you need to continue to forge ahead, keep your faith. And continue to create. Wow. Because you were a service to those around you. But they're now bittersweet. Because people could not block. They couldn't. They can't accept the fact that. Them trying to. Stop you. Is something that they can't accept they've discovered that they're going to need your forgiveness and acceptance because you're still going to expand because you're a workaholic <laughs> can't make it up sad the fact is people the fact is people see you as perfection as a perfectionist and you are balanced happy thankful and grateful and those feel 
those around you or people, the past, present, or future, or feel with a lot of guilt. Because if you're giving light and bringing light to a situation and growth, and you're accepting and giving, and you're not getting anything in return, what happens is people begin to feel guilt. Because spirit is telling you, continue to be who you are. They're insecure. Some people may not be um, believing in what you're doing. Because you are you are of service to, to God and the universe. That's what you do. Because you are definitely a workaholic. So continue to focus and expand. And not allow those to become a blockage. Spirit is saying you are using your wisdom on this journey. And whatever the situation, you will recover. So that is the read, Sagittarius. We're going to be out of here. What is the final uh, word of advice? All righty. What is the last final word of advice? Ah, sad. I said a lot, Sag. All right. So it just sounds like there's some things that are out of your control. Some of these things are, you know, people, places, situations that are happening. But Spirit is just letting you know that, hmm, mirror. It's about reflecting being a mirror so spirit wants you to continue to be who you are because people are reflecting and watching you and that they will end up mirroring you that's the message that spirit wants you to know that as you continue to work you're spreading joy and these people are just trying to be a distraction and an obstacle and you need to continue to take a chance and never give up that is the read Sagittarius because you've changed and again you're going to change the lives of those that watch you that's what this is all about the reflections people around you will change regardless whether they want to or not because you're filled with a lot of light and joy and happiness. So they try to be a distraction to what you to your changes, the changes that you're making in your life. And the universe is telling you never give up because you will achieve those cycles and you will achieve those goals that you're working so very hard to acquire. All right? So that is the read Sagittarius. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.